Rafael Nadal is considered one of the greatest tennis players of all time, but do you know about the family behind the amazing player? Watch till the end of the video to find out more about the family of one of tennis's greatest players. Without further delay, let's get right into it. Rafael Rafa Nadal Pereira, otherwise known as King of Clay, was born on the third day of June 1986 in Manacor, Mallorca, Spain. He is presently ranked number 6 by the Association of Tennis Players ATP, and has previously been ranked number 1 by the same ATP for 209 weeks. He has won 20 Grand Slam men's singles titles. He has won 13 French Open titles. Nadal's dominance on clay is also highlighted by his winning 62 of his 88 ATP singles titles on clay, including 26 of his 36 Masters titles. Who is Nadal's wife? Born in Palma de Mallorca, Spain on July 7, 1988, Maria Elias Chisca Perello was the historical and longtime fiancé of Rafael before becoming the Spaniard's wife. They got engaged in December 2005 and they got married on October 19, 2019 in Mallorca. Chisca Perello is a notoriously reserved person off the court, a woman who, with her discretion and confidentiality, has given great stability to Rafael Nadal's professional life. Nadal has kept his private life very well guarded over the years considering how much of a champion he has become. Despite her decision to stay away from social media, paparazzi still follow the couple to capture the Spanish epitome of beauty. This decision, she says, was mutual, as Nadal needs space while competing. Chisca Pirello stands 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighs around 60 kilograms. She has dark brown hair and brown eyes. Pirello has known Nadal since he was younger, having come into contact with him through her friend, his sister, Maribel Nadal. The couple began dating in 2005 when they went to the University of the Balearic Islands. She was 17 and Rafa was 19. Chiska currently holds the position of Project Director of Strategy and Relations with Institutions for the Rafa Nadal Foundation. She studied at Universitat de les Iles Balears in Palma Iles Balears from 2006 to 2016 and graduated with honors in economics. She also studied business management in London, UK. Upon completing her studies with distinction, she worked for Mapfre Sporting Company, which also endorsed her husband Raphael. She couldn't cope with the workplace hostility and growing rumors that she got the job because because of her relationship with Rafael Nadal, and quit six months later. Many stars were present at their wedding, such as Olivia Colman, Tom Hiddleston, David Ferrer, Hugh Laurie, and many others. They got married in La Fortaleza Castle in Mallorca, in a very classy wedding. As of November 2021, Chisca's estimated net worth stood at $500,000. Sebastian Nadal Sebastian Nadal is a Spanish businessman who is the proprietor of Vidras Mallorca, Sapunta, and an insurance agency. He is additionally on the top managerial staff of Maple Capital. Sebastian Nadal's total assets are not accessible. Be that as it may, he should have a rich fortune inside and out. Ana Maria described Rafa as a super sensitive human being. He doesn't like the dark. He used to sleep with lights or TV on. He cares so much about his family. Ana Pereira is a former trader of perfumes and is currently the president of the Nadal Foundation, the foundation created with an aim to provide access to education and sports, especially for the disadvantaged children and youths. His mom, Ana Maria, is a housewife. Her net worth is unknown. Maria Isabel, born in 1989, is a sports management graduate and sister of Nadal. Although Maria is close with her brother, she didn't involve herself in tennis. Instead, she works as a marketing and sales personnel at Rafa Nadal Academy by Movistar. Besides work, she has her interest in sports and traveling, as depicted by her Instagram bio. Also, Maria Isabel is five years younger than her brother. Isabel has a special relationship with Raphael. They are so close that it was revealed that the team could not even disclose to the King of Clay if she has a mild cold when Rafa is competing elsewhere in the world. One time when he was away in Australia, my doctor ordered me to have some tests done. Nothing too serious, but in all the messages I exchanged with Raphael, that was the one thing I didn't mention. It would freak him out. It would risk throwing him completely off his game, said Maribel. Nadal's Relatives Antonio Tony Nadal Homar, born the 21st of February 1961, is a Spanish tennis coach. Tony Nadal is the uncle and ex-coach of tennis player Rafael Nadal and the elder brother of Spanish professional footballer Miguel Ángel Nadal. 
With 16 Grand Slam titles won as the coach of his nephew Rafael Nadal, he was the most successful coach in the history of tennis, until Marian Vajda surpassed Tony Nadal's record in 2020, when Vajda and his player Novak Djokovic won their 17th Grand Slam title together. The story of Rafael Nadal cannot be complete without the worthy mention of his uncle Tony Nadal. Nearly all media attention usually goes to the tennis player, and rightly so. He or she is the one in the spotlight, the one battling it out with another opponent in order to accomplish something. But behind the tennis player, there is someone else, a confidant, a person who is always there to share the highs and lows of a tennis player's career. This person is the constant along with the tennis player. In Rafael Nadal's case, this person is Tony Nadal, his uncle and coach. From the few interviews that Tony Nadal gives, he sounds more like a philosopher than a coach, an intriguing personality with strong views and beliefs. In his younger years, Tony Nadal would play ping pong and tennis. In ping pong, he managed to become the Balearic Islands champion, while he was also in the Spanish top 30 in tennis. However, he could not dedicate his full time on sport, because he also had other interests like gardening, history, and philosophy. In fact, Uncle Tony studied history at a university level. Tony was the manager at the Manicor Tennis Club at the time when he gave his nephew a racket to try his hand in tennis. He noticed how Rafa, or Raphael as Tony always called him, would never get bored of hitting the ball. He had this commitment that even older people than him did not have. As Tony recalls, always he had this discipline. As soon as the surname Nadal is mentioned, tennis is the first thing that comes to the mind of many people. However, in the Nadal dynasty, there exists another famous individual who was successful in his own venture as a footballer, Miguel Angel Nadal. Miguel Angel Nadal was born on the 28th of July, 1966, in Manacor, Mallorca, Balearic Islands, and lived a quiet life until his debut in La Liga with local RCD Mallorca on the 19th of April, 1987, against FC Barcelona at the Camp Nou. Three years before Rafael was born, his uncle Miguel Angel Nadal began what turned out to be a stellar football career in 1983. His journey into the professional league originated in his birthplace of Manacor. At the age of 20, Miguel made his debut in the La Liga for Real Club Deportivo Mallorca. He would end up spending four years with the team between 1987 and 1991, scoring 22 goals in 122 appearances. His position on the pitch was either defender or a midfielder. One of his biggest achievements whilst with the club was reaching the 1991 finals of the Copa del Rey, the oldest football competition that was founded back in 1903. Ronaldo and Romario were the two best players I ever played with. They were able to do things I only imagined were possible in my dreams. If I said that Ronaldo was the best player I ever played with, he is also the best player I have ever played against, he once told Goal.com. Miguel made 208 appearances for Barcelona, playing in mainly defensive roles. In total, the Spaniard received six red cards as a result of his aggressive approach. The physicality of the Spaniard earned him the nickname, the Beast of Barcelona. He was not afraid of taking on his opponents regardless of their shape or size, although he was never a fan of that analogy. Beyond the National League, the Mallorcan was also a regular fixture in his country's national team. Miguel's record includes appearing at three consecutive World Cup tournaments between 1994 and 2002. At the 1996 European Championships, a missed penalty by Miguel during his country's quarterfinal clash with England proved fatal to their title chances. Spain lost 4-2 on penalties, with Fernando Hierro being the other player to miss. Miguel ended his career back with RCD Mallorca, spending a further six years with the club before hanging up his boots in 2005. The same year, nephew Rafael won his first Grand Slam title at the age of 19 in Paris. It does not bother me. I am delighted. If I have a family member who's doing very well, I'm very happy. Rafael is my nephew. He grew up with us, the former La Liga player said, during an interview dispelling rumors of his concern over Rafael's success on the court. We watched him grow up, playing tennis and football together. We have seen a small boy become professional. Rafael, when he was little, was a different player. He could have predicted that he would be a good tennis player, but he would never know that he would achieve what he achieved in his career. He, along with Federer and other legends, is making history in tennis. Who is your favorite relative in the Nadal family? Comment below. Ciao!